switched the watch on pretty early this morning. It's about half past five in the morning now, the sunrise is just coming up. It's a beautiful time of day. The weather's been amazing in England at the moment. So really enjoying it. Doing a regeneration run, regenerative, and uh, out just 45 minutes, four to five RPE, just getting the legs loosened. I had my 21K on uh, Saturday, it's now Monday morning. I've got a couple of weeks off now, so that's awesome. Gonna really enjoy my last two weeks of August. The big goal, Chilton One's Land. Got that 50 coming up in about just under four weeks. So I'm gonna really try and push that and race that. So gonna record my training just to see if I can get a bit of extra fitness each day out in the last couple of weeks. Feeling good, my legs are behaving. I had that hamstring injury about six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. So I recovered really well from that. So doing loads of rehab, loads of Pilates. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Let's check out the trails. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out doing my easy run today. Woo, legs are very, very tired. You probably saw in the clip before, loads of building work going on. Got two weeks off. And um, I am moving a lot of soil, or have done. I've moved a load of scalping, so we're doing our patio. We're coming to the end of our building project. It's been a long time, so it's pretty exciting. But I've got to go out and do my running as well. I'm knackered, it's early. My legs feel really heavy. Loads of strength work yesterday, Will Barry. So nice to get out, but boy, am I feeling it. thought I'd do a quick recap on strides. Uh, as a coach, I like to uh, prescribe these a lot, um, but always after, only after an easy run. There's kind of different types of strides, there's different variations, definitions, but basically what you're trying to do is do after an easy run, very important this, an easy run, you basically perhaps do five to eight, depending on where you are, but start off with five. You do a nice accelerated push, for about 10 to 12 seconds. Some people like to do them for longer, but I find if you're holding them for 30 seconds, I prefer to call that kind of an interval. The real benefit, they're so, so good. I mean, it's quite important um, to know that not many, I don't think many people do it and they don't really know much about it. I was with a um, potential athlete the other day, no idea about strides. And firstly, for me, it's really good because it's the beginning, it's the start of learning about the speed work. It's about getting your body used to going faster than it normally does rather than just doing those steady sort of basic junk miles and um, it's getting your body your legs moving faster it's really raising elevating the heartbeat you know it's getting you to push into that sort of pain threshold a little bit um, but it's also important that um, when you do them and you do them right because it's a slow acceleration up to sort of a sprint now what concerns me is when people mention the word sprint a sprint is like a 100 meter dash. Now, personally for me, I'm wary, very wary of getting injured. So I don't like the term sprint. We're looking at pushing up to nine RPE. Now your nine RPE, your rate of perceived exertion, look at my other videos about that, could be very different to mine, okay? So all you're looking at doing is if you haven't done these before, is accelerating to a fast pace and holding it for probably three or four seconds at the end and then just slowly walking afterwards and recovering and repeating that five times, okay? So it isn't going to a sprint. When you get to a certain level of running, sure, you can go for a sprint. So that's just really, really important to know because we don't want to pull any hamstrings, any quads or anything like that. It's just meant to be easing into some faster stuff. At the end of the easy run, waking your body up, 
and then finishing your run and having a good one. Right, so you finish your easy run. I haven't, I'm just in the middle of my run, but I'm just gonna show you how I do my strides. I'm gonna do five, 10 to 12 second strides. So I'm gonna accelerate from walking all the way up to a fast pace, and then I'm gonna walk back and recover. You don't have to walk back to the same spot or anything like that. You can just probably put it at the end of your run. You don't have to be exact. Um, counting in your head can be quite tricky. So if you miss a few seconds, it doesn't matter. But the key to it is not to do too little or too much. And sometimes people use breathing, so one breath in and out is one. That's quite a good way to remember it. Anyway, let's have a go at some strides. Here we go. If you're going out and back, you can always mark somewhere where you end and then you don't have to worry about counting. That's it. Easy as that, so it's not too hard to put in. Out of breath, you raise your aerobic base, you're pushing yourself a little bit harder, they're great. So I do recommend them every week when you're doing your easy runs, because um, obviously you're going to be doing some other stuff as well but if you just want to do an easy run to keep it straight forward, keep it very simple start at the very beginning of training these are definitely the ones for you right, I'm going to get on my run I'm on the beautiful uh, Blackheath. It's a stunning evening. I've got uh, Friday, I've got a bit of a session to do. It is um, two by 20 minute active at seven RP. So running quite quick, pushing it quite hard, finding a few hills if I can. I've got a four minute recovery in between. So you're looking at about 40 minutes at about just under threshold. Not too, too hard, but just taking it easy. Building up that nice bit of strength. So I'm gonna have a go at that. Look who's joined me. All right, mate. <laughs> That's the first 20 minutes. Whew. I love that bit because it's, it's like a single track and you've got the woods on the right and space on the left to look at but it's a slight incline as well so it's nice really good for training on only problem is now i'm climbing um on the way back i'm going more downhill and i <coughs> wouldn't mind to do that again but anyway there we go can't have it all right four minute recovery nice easy jog i only walked because i had to talk to you Twenty minutes on the clock. We're sitting at where well, we get to forty-eight minutes. So second interval, twenty minutes. I'm going to head another route, get a bit of downhill and a bit of uphill. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Just gotta make a mental note, stop the video there in the run. This is never dry, never. There we go, 20 minutes. It's my second interval done. Whew. Now it's just an easy jog back. Oh, it's quite tough. There was some nice little hill I got, so a bit of pushing up that and then downhill, so I'm not so puffed now, as you can see. Anyway, that was a good one. That's my Friday done, ready for my long run tomorrow morning. See you there. Right, here we go. It's a good time just to stop and um, get a sing in a shoe. 
it's uh, annoying me. So um, yeah, it's been a tough old morning this morning trying to get up. I don't recommend doing a workout the night before your long run, that's for sure. I wouldn't normally do it, but just life is pretty hectic at the moment. So I'm having to try and get things done as and when. Um, I've got my long run today, which should be about three hours, but I might have to cut it short. It's got someone coming around the house. Um, but my groin definitely is playing up and it's pretty sore. I suffer from it quite a bit. Anyway, don't know what's happening with the GoPro. Yep. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going and uh, just keep rolling on. I'm trying to do a three hour long run. I uh, might have to cut it short, but we'll see how we get on. Just having a um, talk, explore flapjack, organic black forest. It's bloody lovely. Just out on my uh, Sunday run. It's going to be an easy one today, just an hour. Yeah, takeaway from this week is to listen to your body for sure. Um, been really busy at home, the patio, um, trying to get up early and run in the morning at 5 a.m. sort of start. So it's really taken its toll. Did a workout on the Friday because um, that's the only time I could have done it, and I find that the workout has to be the most important part of my running week. And. Yeah, just deteriorated massively yesterday. Issues with my groin and my hip. Um, that's now gone away, which is nice. It always does, flares up. So I'm in control of it, um, hence why I'm just gonna do an easy hour today. It's also my birthday, happy birthday. Um, so that's cool, 49 today. So I thought I'd go and celebrate with a nice run. Yeah, all good though. Um, been a great week, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Follow my channel um, for running insights, for good content, bit of a crack and um, we're going to get some more stuff posted as my son Oscar is doing the editing as well. So it's helping it move along a bit more. So fingers crossed, great things to come. Have a good weekend and uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye.